Hello, welcome to Yoga with Rach. I'm Rach, thank you so much for joining me for today's Aries practice. So we've gone through working with our Shiva Linga Mudra. We've had a go with checking in and finding that strength and foundation in our Vinyasa practice. Then we've had a go with mushing it all up in our sun salutations with our sun salute mashup. And then today I wanted to focus on something a little bit to do with the solar plexus. But I wanted to bring a little bit more of the Aries energy in with keeping hold of that fire to keep that drive, that determination, that motivation going and bringing the essence of Aries in that Aries is ruled over by the planet Mars, so is seen as the god of war. So I wanted to bring in this element of finding your warrior. So we're going to have a little go with moving through goddess pose, our warrior two poses. This can be for anyone, finding your warrior, finding your warrior, yes. So you can just find that element of finding that strength, fierceness, um, but also being um, fearless, but finding that lovely grounded essence that we bring in with our grounded masculinity by tapping into that Shiva Linga mudra that we did all the way back at week one in our Aries series. So sometimes Aries get a bit of a bad reputation in thinking that they should just be completely driven in the fact that it's all go, go, go. They might be a little bit hot headed, but when they're balanced, their drive, that passion, that determination goes into something. So whether it's a cause or whether it's into their career, they can be very, very driven. And this is why a lot of them could be athletes because they're driving it there, not just for themselves, but for their team to win as well. It's about bringing together that that passion in a in a group setting as well as not just for themselves, even though Aries rules over the self, the image or the ego. So we're gonna tap into finding that strength while still being grounded through the feet, through the hands, when we go through our little movement sequence with a little mandala flow thrown in as well. So we wanna just check in. I'm gonna start us off with our seat. So find a comfortable seat, use a bolster, use a block if you need to, to tuck them underneath the tailbone. And find that comfortable seat with the legs. You might have the legs crossed, you might have the legs stretched out in front of you, but the shoulders relax. Find your Shiva Linga Mudra, so the left hand is facing up, hands it's roughly in front of the solar plexus, the Manipura Chakra. Bring the right hand in, look so you're going to make a fist as you bring all the fingers in, but keep the thumb pointing up. And rest the right hand on top of the left, keep that thumb nice and active, closing the eyes, bringing your awareness to your breath. And if you did set a mantra, that I am mantra, all the way back at the beginning of this Aries sequence or series of practices. Come back to that now. And if you don't have that I am mantra, then see if you can set an intention of staying as present as possible in your practice, with your breath, with your body. See if you can really tap into how you feel in every single pose. And yes, we're bringing in that element of finding your warrior or finding your inner warrior, inner strength. Don't worry if you get to certain points where you feel you need to pause Charles pose is always there for you. So finding that inner warrior is also honoring when you need to pause and rest. So don't feel that you have to push yourself through the sequence. Pause if that's what your body is telling you to do. Stay present and listen to that part of your body. Gently releasing the hands, blink the eyes open if the eyes were closed. Moving just briefly into tabletop as we place the palms down onto the mat, spread the fingertips nice and wide, knees are underneath the hips, tucked under the toes, lifting straight on up into downward facing dog. Drawing the shoulders back, just finding some alignment here, whether you're really bending into the knees to release the lower back, you might be walking on the spot. Stay 
Staying in downward dog for as long as feels comfortable, you might be moving into child's pose, or see if you can ripple forward, bringing the shoulders over the wrists, lower the hips, but not too much, so check in with what's going on in the hips and the back. Push the heels back, find your active plank pose. Focusing on the breath. And as you just did in your downward dog, stay in your plank for as long as feels comfortable for you, whether you're moving down into child's pose for that pause, or drawing the shoulders back, pushing the tailbone high, adjusting the feet if you need to, downward facing dog. So just having a little check in here, between pausing completely in child's pose or pausing while staying active in your downward dog or in your plank. So we're going to have a little check in with finding that strength in your plank pose, working with Vashistasana or our side plank. So if you're in downward dog or in child's pose, you might be moving into tabletop just so you can see how to move into this one if you haven't practiced side plank before or for a while. Do listen to your body, see what's going on in the wrist. So if you need to, with which hand, which side you're going to be leaning onto or shifting the weight onto, Walk that hand further forward, so rather than staying underneath the shoulder, walk the hand forward so it's not always as much pressure on the wrists. It might not work for you, but if that does help, remember walk the hands forward. And you're going to be stacking the feet. So as you lift into plank, keep the feet together. So if it was with the hands, you'd be bringing the thumbs together, stacking the feet so they weren't out of alignment with each other. The same is going for the feet. You're bringing the feet together. Big toes are touching, the heels are touching. And just see if you can roll both heels, both feet over to the right. Adjust that right hand if you need to. Stay nice and active, so you're pushing the floor away, lifting the hips up towards the ceiling, turning to face the left side of your mat. See if you can lift the left arm up, keep the arm in line with the shoulder. So you're reaching straight up. You don't have to look up towards the ceiling. Try to make sure you get this stack in the legs. Bring the left hand down, placing the toes, the ball of the foot, top of each foot onto the mat. Keep the feet together. See so if you can roll the heels to the left. Adjust that left hand if you need to. Turning to face the right side of your body. Make sure you're not dropping the hips and lifting up nice and tall, raising that right arm up. Focusing on the breath. Bring the right hand down. Find your way onto the balls of the feet. We'll have a go one more each side if you wish to. Keep the feet together, turning the heels to the right. Shift the weight into that right side of the body, lift the left arm up. Bring the left hand down. Shifting the feet, finding plank, keep the feet together, turning the heels to the left. Move that left hand if you need to, to shift the weight around for the hip, for the wrist to feel comfortable. Lifting the hips, lifting that right arm up, bringing the right hand down, find your way into plank. Either have a little pause in downward dog or have a little lower down into child pose so checking in with the breath so checking in with how you're feeling in the body slowly lifting out of child's pose Lifting into downward facing dog. When you're ready, we're going to move into our standing forward fold. So walk, step or hop, yogi's choice. And lifting all the way up to standing, you might sweep the arms forward and up. And releasing the arms down by your side. So we're going to step wide. So you can step so you can face the camera or face the TV or face the phone, whatever you're using to have a go with this practice. Make sure the feet aren't too wide. We're gonna turn the toes out. So we're gonna move into goddess pose, sometimes known as horse stance, 
or known as our high yogi squat. So rather than going into that low squat or the last one, we're going to go into that high squat. So the toes are pointing out. We want to bend the knees in the same direction as the toes. Try to keep the knees roughly over the ankles, so not pushing the knees past the toes. Just keep your torso nice and neutral. So we're not leaning back, we're not leaning forward, we're not rounding into the spine. And we're going to have a little go with ha huh breath, H-A, ha huh breath. So as you exhale, you're going to be releasing the breath on a nice loud ha huh with the breath. If you get the giggles, it's a nice reason to nickname this one ha huh breath. I know a lot of my students when we do this in the studio get the giggles with this one. Listen to your body. If you need to, you can straighten the legs. You might even move into a bit of a wide forward fold to then come back up into your goddess squat or goddess stance. So knees are bent, knees are over the ankles, toes are turning out. We're gonna raise the arms up, bending the elbows. So we wanna try and keep the elbows in line with the shoulders. You're gonna be inhaling to raise the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down with a nice loud ha. Inhale, exhale, ha. Inhale, exhale, ha. Inhale, ha. Inhale, ha. Two more, inhale, ha. Inhale, ha. Last one, inhale, ha. Straighten the legs, folding forward. We can stay with that speed with the breath. Or we might have a go. We're speeding it up a little bit more. So taking your time as you lift back up out of that wide forward fold. Moving into your goddess squat, squat, that goddess stance, bend the knees, reach the arm out and up, bend the elbows, bring your awareness back to the breath. So either stay with the first speed or have a go following along with me. Inhale, and as you're ready, exhale. Ha! 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 Two more. Ha! Ha! And forward fold. Well done. So have a little check in in your wide forward fold. You might keep the toes turning out. You might turn the toes in, making the feet a little bit more parallel. You might find a little bit of a ragdoll fold here. Or maybe you're having a little check in. You're drawing your head down towards or onto your mat. Make sure you're releasing and relaxing. There's no pulling or pushing or straining whilst you're here. Few more breaths when you're ready. Slowly coming all the way up. So we're going to bring this into a little bit of a mandala flow. So we're going to turn and find our way to the top of our mat. So you might be about hip width apart. Hands are down by your hips. We're going to flow down into downward dog, then we're going to stay fairly low as we continue the rest of the sequence. Inhale, raise the arms forward and up. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, your transition into plank. When you're ready on an exhale, draw the shoulders back, push the tailbone high, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, down dog splits. Exhale, bend the knee, opening the hip. Inhale, just gently pull the shoulders forward, bringing the knee into the belly. Take your time as you place the right foot in between the hands, you might give it a nudge there. Bringing your left heel down. Sweep the left arm forward over the crown and behind you to bring the right arm up into warrior two. Turn the right hand around, palm facing up. Raise the right arm up, place the left hand onto the left hip, left up thigh, or you might push the left hand in front of the core towards your right hip. Moving into your warrior two. From here, we're going to take that left hand, lift it up and over, bring both hands down to the inside of your right foot. Go straight into your wide forward fold for your first round. Have a little pause. Focusing on the breath. And then keep walking around to your left foot, turning the toes, so the left foot's now facing 
the back of the mat, bending the knee, grounding through that right heel. We're going to lift up into our warrior two. Sweeping that right arm forward, up, over, bringing the left hand out in front. Turn the left hand around, palm facing up. Reversal, peaceful warrior, lifting that left arm up. Right hand might be on your hip or your thigh, or you might be pushing that right hand in front of the belly, in front of the core, to your left hip. Finding your warrior T. Bring the right arm over your head as the hands meet. Bring both hands down. Step the left foot back into your plank. Focusing on the breath. On your next exhale, pull the shoulders back. Push the tailbone high, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, stand up splits. As you exhale, bend the knee, opening the hip. Inhale, pull the shoulders forward, bring the knee into the belly. Take your time as you place the right foot down. Do a nudge if you need to. Place the left heel down. Lift through the left arm as you raise it forward, over your head behind you to raise the right arm forward into warrior two. Turning the right hand around. Find your reversal, peaceful warrior, right arm lifts, left hand gently rests onto the left leg or the left hip, or pushing the left hand in front of your core towards your right hip. Slowly finding your warrior two. Left arm lifts up and over as the hands meet, bring both hands down to the inside of your right foot, turning towards the top of the mat, pause as you get halfway, moving into your wide forward fold. Focusing on the breath. Keep walking around, we're back to where we started. Over that left leg, bend into the left knee, ground through the right heel, sweeping that right arm forward, up and over into your warrior two. Turning the left hand around, palm facing up, left arm lifts. Right hand might be on the right thigh, right hip, or pushing through. Warrior two. Right arm lifts forward. And we bring both hands down, stepping into plank. Focusing on the breath. On your next exhale, moving up into downward facing dog. So though we practice our warrior two on both sides, we've only practiced one mandala. So we're going to have a go with that same mandala on the left leg. Inhale, left leg lifts. As you exhale, bend the knee to open the hip. Inhale, bring the knee into the belly. Take your time as you place the left foot in between the hands. Bring the right heel down. Sweep that right arm forward over your head behind you. Left arm lifts into your warrior two. Turn the left hand around, palm faces up. Find your reverse warrior or your peaceful warrior. Focus on the breath. Warrior two. Lift that right arm over and forward. Bring the hands down, moving into your wide forward fold. And don't strain, don't pull yourself into this pose, just try to release to wherever you naturally land. When you're ready, keep moving around to the back of the mat, so we're over that right leg, bend into the right knee, ground your left heel, lift the left arm forward, over your head behind you, right arm lifts, warrior two. Turn the right hand around, palm facing up, and reverse your warrior. Find what feels comfortable for you. With that left hand, left arm, is on the thigh, the hip, or pushing in front of you. Warrior two, bring that left arm all the way down. Set the right foot back into your plank pose. On your next exhale, pull the shoulders back, tailbone high, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, stand or splits. 
Exhale, bend the knee, opening the hip. Inhale, bring the knee into the belly, pull the shoulders forward, placing your left foot in between the hands, place the right heel down, use the right arm to lift you up, and place the right arm behind you, the left arm lifts warrior two. Turning the left hand around, find your reverse warrior, your peaceful warrior. Warrior two. Use that right arm to bring you all the way down and round into your wide forward fold. And all the way around to the top of the mat, turning the feet as you go. Use that left arm to lift you up into your warrior two. Reverse your warrior, right arm up, left hand down. Or to your hip or in front of the belly. Warrior two. Left arm all the way down, stepping into plank. And into downward facing dog. So we're going to mix it up a little bit for our last round. As you inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, open the knee, or open the, the hip as you bend the knee. Inhale, moving through into your warrior two. So right foot in between the hands, lifting the arms up. Find that reverse warrior. Open into warrior two. We're going to stay high and move into our goddess squat. Five half breaths, inhale. At your own pace, ha, 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 ha. Opening out to the back of the mat, into your warrior two. Find that reverse warrior, left arm up, right hand to thigh hip, or push the hand in front of you. Warrior two, into plank. You're welcome to stay there, or shifting onto the right side, keep the feet together, turning the heels to the right, Lifting the left arm up into your side plank. Focusing on the breath. Bring the left hand down, shifting into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, open the hip, bend the knee. Inhale, take your time as you move up into your warrior two. Reverse your warrior, right arm up, left hand to left thigh, hip or push the arm in front of you. Lift it back into warrior two, staying high as we turn the toes out, bend the knees, bend the elbows. Five half breaths at your own breath and your own pace. Inhale. Ha! 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 Open over the left leg into your warrior two. Reverse your warrior, left arm up, right hand to thigh hip or in front of the belly, pushing towards the left hip. Find your warrior two. Use that right hand to bring you down into plank, either staying in your plank or shift the weight over to the right as you turn the heels to the right. Right hand stays on the mat, lift the left arm up. Well done. Bring the left hand down, we're going to do that on the left side. Moving into downward facing dog. Remember child's pose is there if you need to have that pause on that in your body. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, open the hip, bend the knee. Inhale, find your way into warrior two, left foot in between the hands. Raise that right arm up, over and behind. Reverse your warrior, left arm up. Right hand to thigh hip, or push it in front of the belly towards the left hip. Warrior two, moving into your goddess squat, adjusting the feet, bend the knees, open the arms out, bend the elbows, five breaths. Inhale, ha, 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 ha. Turn into your warrior two, face the back of your mat. Reverse your warrior, right arm up. Warrior two, left arm up and over. Bring the hands down, moving into plank. 
Remember, you can stay here or shift the weight to the left side this time as we turn to the right and the right arm lifts. Nice. I know this was a challenge, so you don't have to add this one in. You don't have to stay here for long. Keep that right hand down. Ah, oh, downward facing dog. Finishing the mandala. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, knee to belly plank. And find your way into the Rajasthana Warrior Two. Reversing, left arm lifts. And into Warrior Two. Into your ha breath. Find that goddess dance. Five rounds, inhale. Ha! Ha! into warrior two, facing the front of the mat, back to where we started, reverse that warrior, right arm up, warrior two, left arm, into plank, staying there, or one last time, stack the feet, shift the weight to the left, body might be shaking, I know my arms and legs are, Bring that right hand down, focusing on the breath. Well done. Downward facing dog. Pausing here. Or finally, if you're not there already, lower down into child pose. Staying in child pose. You might stay there for a few more moments to let the breath, the heart rate slow down. Well done for finding your warrior. You might be moving into Savasana or you might have a go with a couple of the other practices I'm gonna link in here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I pop up videos every Thursday. I shall see you next week. Namaste.